somebody always talks too much. Sometimes I'll say it's me, but I think everybody, if we had to take a poll, who talks the most and whose updates take the longest? <clears throat> but for the most part, they are necessary check-ins because we are all very much self-starters. Self it's just important to be able to check in and be like, this is the update and these are the next steps so that we're always moving and we're not just like, um, we're on different pages for different events. It's just important to be communicative in, a, in an organization in general, but especially with something like this. A typical IRP team meeting, uh, it's something that we do probably about once a week, every other week, um, based off of all of our schedules. It's super important. We actually had started doing this two, three years ago. We started them at restaurants before we had an office space, and we used to get together once a month and discuss the projects that we are currently working on, projects that we want to work on. It really keeps us all um, on target, I guess you can say, um, in terms of what we're doing, um, deadlines, uh, what we're trying to say, our brand building. I did the next, the clip for our next time on food. So you did, you chose it? Yeah, I mean, but that means I, took, <laughs> <laughs> I took a stab at it, so. I like that. <laughs> so the Washington Post did a review of Insecure Today, mm -hmm. and they wrote a little, a little part, says, at its best, Insecure doesn't try to be groundbreaking. It's about black people in the southern part of LA County, think Inglewood, not Compton. In the same way that Curb Your Enthusiasm is about white Jews in West LA. Whatever culture specific jokes you don't get, you'll grasp my context and feel smarter for it. At the end, she says, Insecure is simple, funny, and authentic. Who needs another 2,000 words to say so? And she gave you an A minus. My best advice for collaboration is to listen first. I think listening more than you talk is extremely important. Making sure that you're moving the vision forward as opposed to holding it back. And um, that's what I look for in, in team members. Just people who are like, uh, maybe it doesn't work this way, but I think I have a solution to figure it out. And you just build and build on top of just better ideas. Albany, what are we doing today? We are doing a walkthrough of the basement for the ASIP event. So a SIP is a, an evening fireside chat event that uh, Issa Rae Productions, Color Creative, and The Peak are hosting. It started from a team meeting that we had, and uh, we were trying to brainstorm ways to utilize our uh, basement space uh, here at our new offices. I brought up in a meeting one day that uh, we should try to host our own panel in, of some sort, and actually named it Uncorked um, because I wanted it to be with wine and uh, I got out vetoed and <laughs> we changed it to a sip but sit with wine and and uh, and Ciroc and we've gotten sponsors on board and now it's just grown to be a real thing and it's very exciting. An event like this can very much be compared to a film shoot just the same um, because it's event planning. It, it, there are a lot of uh, facets that go into it. We could have easily just took two chairs and 150 seats and said come listen to these two people speak, but we wanted to uh, come into it with a, with a greater production value and quality of really put on an event. And it's our first, uh, I guess, company sponsored event that's, that's really on a, on a level of what hopefully matches what you would get at a, at a festival or at any other like, you know, um, professional panels. We have access to like all these creative people and we are within the community of Inglewood and we were just like, why not give people and up and coming filmmakers, up and coming directors, up and coming writers, access to the people we have access to to just have a real ass conversation. We listed a bunch of names that we'd love to bring to Inglewood and Melina was one of the first names and she happened to be down and I just know that She's really honest about her own personal journey and I find her journey very fascinating. We just want to give all the tools necessary and all the real talk to the community, the existing community. I think it's important to show that you can do things here and that people do come out here and, and that talent comes out of here. I hope that people come to this event and, you know, feel inspired. Like that, some of the best events I've gone to, I've left and been like, oh my gosh, I'm about to 
get on it. Like, I'm about to write this script. And maybe I didn't, but like, I felt like I was going to, and that like matters to a degree because anything in, in hearing a creative's journey that makes you feel like, oh, I can do it too, brings you one step closer to, to achieving your goals. So this is really just meant to inspire and to be just an, an honest conversation. Yeah, that's good.